Good. Thanks for having us here. Good. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Now, this film explores so many different emotions. It's thrilling. It's incredibly scary, but it's also very emotional. And the demeanor has a tendency to change, which I find very interesting. What was the process like in capturing the many different sides of Sarah and Alex throughout the course of this film? Hmm. Um, I think for, I mean, what I loved so much was when I read this script is I loved how, despite it being this kind of like thriller, it felt like you said, like very emotional and like what these people were going through was really grounded, but it was kind of wrapped up in this, you know, genre movie. And so I, it, that's really what drew me to it is kind of how the emotional landscape of this marriage and these two people together and separately kind of like reveals itself throughout the film. I love that, John. Yeah, I mean, I, I loved how the film is kind of constantly, it, it, you constantly think you know where it's going and you kind of think you know what type of film you're in. And I feel like each scene almost rewrites that as, as the film goes on. Um, and that kept me kind of off balance as a reader when I was first reading it. And I think it does the same thing to the viewer where your, your, your expectations are always shifting a little bit based on how the story is progressing. Another aspect of the film that I really loved was its conversation on mental health and mental illness struggles. Your director, Stephen, he said that his hope was that it captures the insidiously mysterious battle that occurs when one is at war with one's own mind. What do you hope that viewers who struggle from this take away from the film and from your performances? Well, what I like is that, you know, we're kind of leaving it open for interpretation to the audience. You know, I, I don't think we're really saying like, okay, for sure this person was dealing with this and for sure this person was dealing with this and i think i think that's the that's like the beauty of this film where it's like you know is this real is this not you know was this was this the house was this her was this the like, and and that's what i really love about it it's like you know there's no wrong answer um and i think also it's you know people can also veer off paths sometimes and find their way back. And, and that's, that's okay. And I love that despite this being a thriller, I think that like, it is a happy ending at the end, which I like, and it's not like over the top, but you know, like, I like that I can give a spoiler that like, you know, their marriage doesn't end because of this, like they get through it. And so I do think that there's like these little like beacons kind of throughout um, and it's not just like all a big downer and it's not like labeling people and making them feel bad. It's like really just seeing this struggle and seeing them come out the other side. And I, I really like that. Yeah, there's there's hope throughout, you know, even, even when you feel like there isn't going to be any left by the end of it. You know, and I was in a way that's kind of a bold thing to put into a horror film, which I always thought was 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 cool about it. I totally agree. Now, speaking of that ending scene, without giving too much away, I do want to talk about that ending scene because it's a really interesting scene at the very end. I want to know how you guys both interpret that scene in the future of these two individuals. It's not up to us. It's up to the audience. No, um, yeah, there is, a, there, is, there is a final wink, if you will. And um, that, that kind of went through a couple like different ideas. Like that was not the original ending and it changed a few times, but... Um, I don't know. I think I liked it because it makes you, you kind of think everything's wrapped up with a bow and you think, okay, but then it's like, could it happen again? Like, is it, or, you know, there was a bit of also John and I say how much we love Rosemary's baby. Like there's a little bit of a, like a Rosemary's baby moment at the end.